Hello, my name is Jalen Matthews. I'm a former bass drum section leader at Jackson State University. And the Masters Touch All-Star Drumline was very influential to me. It all started when I was in eighth grade. I was part of the um, Gavin Magna Drumline in my middle school. Mr. Calvin came my way, he was the uh, drum instructor. And I was good enough to join the Masters Touch All-Star Drumline. The Masters Touch All-Star Drumline was composed of some of the best musicians from the schools he went to. So when I joined the Masters Touch All-Star Drumline, it really tested me. It gave me some of the things that I needed in life, like such as discipline, um, determination, I was focused. Um, it kept me on my grades too because Mr. Calvin, if our grades wasn't together, he, he would um, instill discipline in us. So after so long in the Master's Touch All-Star Drumline, I graduated from high school and I pursued you know, Jackson State. It really set us up to go to Jackson State because he just introduced Jackson State Drumline and not even just Jackson State, um, Southern, all colleges really. So once he instilled school in us, then it was just from there. I went to Jackson State, me and, the fellow, me and my fellow colleagues. So we joined the band. It was a different experience from the Masters Touch All-Star Drumline because just the collegiate level of instruments there. Um, I pursued the bass drum, and in 2011, you know, actually I didn't make the band, and I pursued it again in 2012. That's when I met my other fellow drummers who came along with me from East St. John. So, once I ended up making the band, you know, it was, it was just paradise after then. You know, I got to play the drum I wanted, I became a section leader, I was very motivated. And it would have never happened if it were not for Mr. Kelvin. Mr. Kelvin was like a dad to me. Um, most kids who joined the Master's Touch Drumline, we, you know, didn't have fathers, you know. So most of the time he was that father figure on us to tell us to go to school, you know, keep it up, stay disciplined, make sure you practice. He just, you know, he was always there, always an influential person in our lives. So he was like a dad slash coach. So he, he definitely drilled discipline in us and that was, I think one of the most important roles that he played in our lives, so, yeah, that's about it. All right, my name is Cameron Johnson, um, recent graduate from the Jackson State University, uh, here to talk about the Masters Touch All-Star Drumline, uh, pretty much the first drumline that I was a part of. I became a part of this drumline after Katrina, where uh, I moved from the New Orleans area and moved towards the place where I was stationed. As soon as I seen the Masters Touch Drumline, I knew I had to be a part of it. And plus it was around that time where uh, the movie Drumline had come, came out, so drumlines were pretty cool at that time. Um, what I like to say the Masters Touch Drumline has done for me is, well, there is so much that the Masters Touch has done for me. Um, I started off in middle school, bad grades, uh, couldn't play any musical instrument, couldn't dance worth a lick. I joined the drum line and I was able to, because of the discipline from Mr. Calvin, I was able to get my grades together because you had to have a certain grade point average to be in the drum line. I was able to get my discipline together because I was hard headed and he didn't play that and also I was able to find new talents within myself play drums for the Hornets drum line I've been in the um, stadium playing for the NBA um, playing really all over the world with this with this drum line and it's taught me a lot about myself taught me a, about what I can do as a person it allowed me to uh, matriculate through high school. I made it to Jackson State University, which is where I marched for the famous Sonic Boom of the South. I played tenor drum for four years, and I was able to become drum major my last year. Um, one of the more one of the more pressing things that I think the Master Touch also All Star Drum Line was able to do was to push that push that sign of God into his students. Uh, I grew a very good relationship with God. 
um, because of how he does his program and how he is so good with the community. Uh, everybody loves Mr. Calvin. He was able to turn around a lot of people's lives, uh, just preaching to them, giving them something to do outside of, you know, whatever is going on out in the world, and just give them a positive outlook of what could happen. Um, I love this drum line for everything that is done. Uh, the talent and progression that it can give in kids these days, it's amazing. And what I've seen from when I was in the drum line to where it is now, it's gone to a whole nother level. The kids have become more talented, we're getting smarter, we're getting colder. And I love this drum line to my heart. Uh, I want to see it to keep, keep going and progressing and become even greater. I want to get back to this drum line myself. And I definitely tell all the parents out there that, hey, if your kid needs an outlet or anything positive in their, line, in their life, join the Master Touch All-Star Drum Line. It saved my life, it saved it. How you doing? My name is Sheldon Colbert. I'm from Class, Louisiana, and I'm a recent graduate of Jack State University. I first started off at this drum line around the seventh grade. Never really had a passion for anything, so I needed a new hobby. So I decided to turn to Mr. Calvin and start doing drums. And from there, I grew a passion. Actually had a dream to actually march at Jack State University, since that's the school he always influenced us on. And that became my inspiration ever since. So I've always had the grades, but never really just had the real motivation to just strive for a college education. But once when he introduced me to the drum line, that's when I really had my newfound dream. I can say that since I've started this whole journey through drums, that he has really made this program grow. Starting from just the basic high schools and middle school drum lines to the all-star drum line, to where it's actually a musician school for percussionists. Just watching how much he's actually gathered from the community, the amount of kids that really love instruments. And to see that he's actually pushing kids to actually want to be more and be better men and women. I can definitely say that he is the right person needed in the community to help kids further themselves and become better. Because I can say for myself, once when he entered my life, I actually made it to college, made the band, became a section leader, and I also graduated. So all this, I can safely say he has been a big influence on me becoming the person I am today. My name is Brendan. Uh, I currently attend Nickel State University, majoring in petroleum engineering. I started the Master's Touch Drumline in 2005. I was a shy kid, didn't know nothing about drums. And I was introduced to Mr. Calvin Berry and I fell in love with it like the first practice and ever since then like it's been a growing process for me and uh, being in the Master's Touch it taught me a lot of life lessons, not only with drums, but it taught me a lot of life lessons, how to conduct myself and how to uh, be a better person. And I found and I found those uh, improvements through drums. And um, Mr. Barry, he's always been like a father figure to me, and he still is to this day. Like he's really been supportive of everything I've I've done, and I really uh, thank him for that. But being in the Master's Touch, it um, it prepares you not only how to be a, a better musician, but also prepares you how to be. A, a better person and how to prepare for the next level like if you're going into high school or middle school or college and um, I didn't really see myself going to college and being in the master's touch it really mentally prepared my mind to uh, get ready for the next level. I encourage anybody to uh, be a part of the master's touch drum line because it's not only uh, a great opportunity to uh, play drums was also a great opportunity to meet new people and it really helped me bond with people that I really never met before people I don't I never knew and the people that I was in drum line with I call my brothers and sisters to this day like we really had a bond it really had like a tight knit with each other I encourage anybody to be part of the Masters Touch drum line it will be the best decision of your life that's it my name is Calvin Berry, and I play snare drum, and I've been in the program for 12 years. I'm Jace Myers. Uh, I play snare. I've been in the program for six, seven years. 
My name is Joseph Brown. I play Quince. I've been in the program for about 11 years. My name is Jerry and Frank. I play bass drum. I've been in the program two years. Uh, this program has been an awesome experience for kids. It's an outlet away from home if you have any problems. And also, this program also helps you any problems that you go through as a family. Uh, everybody gets closer and it's a bond that you always remember and I will stay close. Um, we always looking out for each other and they look out for us. And this program has been great to my life and many lives other than mine. Uh, this program has been very beneficial. It's taught me a lot of stuff like um, brotherhood, it's increased my Christianity and it just put me on the right path to succeed in life. Yeah, the program I've been in for, uh, for a while. It's, it's took many people off the streets, helped people with all, all aspects of their life. And um, it's, send, it's sending people to college, people that already graduated from college that's been through this program. And uh, it's very great. This program has been very beneficial to me because it's taught me about brotherhood, how to work with others and cooperation. It uh, it's really like it's your family here, and you could talk to them about any about anything. Mr. Calvin and Ms. Barry have been like a mother and father to me, and now I'm going to Jackson State. I recommend. Anybody to come to the, to the program because it's, it's, I promise you it's going to be beneficial. It's, it's not going to let you down. It's going to put you on the right path. You're going to learn brotherhood. You're going to learn a lot of stuff. Be successful. Um, my name is Richard. Um, I've been in this drum lot uh, almost three years. I, I joined in October 2014. Uh, we're playing cymbals. Still on cymbals now. It's 2017. Um, I first joined in the St. Charles Catholic drum line, and Mr. Calvin here invited me about two months after I joined to come to All-Star. And then going into it, I didn't know what to expect. Like it was a completely different like play style from what we were doing at SEC. And um, it was a lot of fun. It's like I met a lot of new people. Uh, I got to got to play for the Pelicans drum line, which I thought was really cool. You know, just walking in, walking in the back and just running into the players. I got some. I met Dwight Howard once. That was, that was really cool. And then it's just he's always talking about Mr. Calvin's always talking about Jesus. You know, like trying to get us closer to God. How he's trying to push up so we could be better than him. You know. Um, That's pretty good. So yeah. you just hit it and quit. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, no, right now I'm at uh, UL and Lafayette, and then I I want I would like to do the band, but I can't because I because like I have to start working, start help pay for my apartment and my car, and I gotta start because I like, I'm going for computer science and I might change it. Tell everybody the GPA. Um, right now I have four point oh. Better best GPA I've had since like second grade. Like last time I got straight was in second grade. After that, just like bees, bees, bees. <laughs> and then got to college. I thought it'd be hard. Nope. Four point again. That's what's up. Friday. Yeah. And so like, I've been thinking about maybe switching to computer engineering. Ooh. Yeah, but I'm not sure about that because I got some friends that are taking it, and then they're all like, "Oh, it's pretty hard." I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. So what you plan on doing in the future with drumming? You um, know, you like to change the instruments in the All Star or you would like to? I like to try new instruments. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's what's up. We can work out over the summer. Yeah. Yeah. My wife and I started this program in 2002. Um, we went into, uh, we only had one school. I, I, I went to three schools and got rejected by all three. And then finally, the fourth school, which was Our Lady of Grace, they, um, you know, they allow us to come to school and work with the kids after school and teach drumline. After that first year, we went from one school to three schools. Then by the third year, we went to five schools. 
And then by the fourth year, seven schools. And that's why we opened up our own school. Um, but it's been growing. Uh, we also play for the New Orleans Pelicans. When they were the New Orleans Hornets, they went away after Katrina to Oklahoma. And my wife got in touch with uh, the entertainment coordinator and set up an uh, audition for when they come back. So when they came back to New Orleans in 06, 07, we auditioned, and that's how we also became the New Orleans Pelicans drug line. And I think we've been doing that for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. um, this program has been dear to me. Uh, um, this is my baby. This is what God put me on this earth to do. And through music, we've reached so many lives and touched so many lives and changed so many lives. And that's all I ever wanted. Uh, music was my outlet as a kid. Playing music was the way I got rid of all my pressures or stresses or circumstances. Anything that bothered me, I would go play music and shut off. And, it always seemed to bring healing to me. So I'm using that to also help this next generation and it's been very fruitful. And it's good seeing the, you know, the kids graduate and go to college and get degrees and come home and pour back into the next generation. So what you want to say? I'd just like to say that over the years we've, you know, had so many accomplishments. Um, the reward in it for all that we do is basically seeing um, the kids who we know have had no prior experience in playing drums. And they come through the program and to go to school, see them going to college, that's one of the big things that we pump in this program is the discipline and academics. Um, and also that they should desire to go to the next level and play. And, and if they decide not to play drums, at least to strive for uh, going to college. And so to see them do that and make these accomplishments, some have far exceeded our expectations. So a lot of single parents have brought their children into the program in hopes of having a father figure or a male figure, I should say, um, to impart into them the things that are so needed. Uh, this area had a great need and this is why we do what we do. Uh, we wanted to make sure that the students who had no outlet to music, that they received one, and that they got a fair shot at a possibility of going to college. Um, in this area, there's not a whole lot of parents with uh, the ability to financially afford a college tuition. And so that is mostly why we chose to, to build this business. And we did it from, from scratch. Uh, it was a rough start. We had broken up pieces to drum sets that were all donated to us and that's how we got our start. Uh, we raised funds, we were diligent to do performances and fundraisers to be able to get a complete set of drums for the children to play on. And um, like I said, we've seen a lot of success with, with all of the generations that have come through since then. We have some of everything uh, that have come through, even those who did not go to school for drums, they've gone on to do other things. So we're super proud of all of those, those guys. And we're going to take this program probably to the next level. I want to get our own facility. We want to get um, the kids, possibly even dormitories, um, uh, after school tutoring, uh, basketball gymnasium, just things just so we can just win back our youth and just have them in a safe environment, a productive environment. So that'll be my next goal, my next job. So um, I think that's about it, baby. I think we said it all. Um, just keep looking for us, performances. Uh, we do everything weddings, basketball games, football games. We've even done a funeral. School teacher. Yeah, two funerals. Wow who really were fond of the kids and their family came to us and said that it would, their loved ones would really love what the drum line played at their funeral. So, I don't know, we've done parties, all kinds of stuff. But our biggest stage um, that we usually perform on is, you'll see us as the New Orleans Pelicans drum line or the New Orleans Pelican Mini Me drum line. And um, I just want to send a shout out to Jackson State University, my, uh, my college. I'm an alumni. I just thank God for that university and the band staff, uh, all the members of the percussion, percussion section and band program. Thank you for looking out, for just pouring into these kids. And we try to get some other colleges um, acclimated and on board to see the kids and 
because right now everybody wants to go to Jackson State, so we try not to be so biased. But other than that, that's about it. Uh, we just had our showcase, so I'm hungry. It's time for me to go eat. And I want to thank Usman for coming all the way from Jackson, Mississippi, and putting this, do this documentary together for us. Love you and what you're doing, man, and uh, much success. And I just want to continue blessing your business as well, bro. So, with all that being said, you got anything else you want to say? All right. Well, until next year's showcase, I'll see you then. See you then.